Hi. Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Good. Um, congrats on the show. It's already getting amazing reviews. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm thrilled. Well, what brought you to this project? What made you just feel like you wanted to be part of it? Well, Margaret Atwood's book has been powerful and imprint for 32 years. I think the idea of adapt, adapting a property like that is a little intimidating, um, but incredibly relevant. Um, we live in a world now where the battle for women's rights, control of their bodies, is more important than ever before. Funding for Planned Parenthood. We may be in a Roe v. Wade battle. So uh, the idea to take on this concept, and I think give the audience a thriller, a dramatic thriller, but it also resonates for the world we're living in and the struggles particularly that women face. So I think it's entertainment, but I think it also feels like um, this is more than a snack. This is a full meal. Um, so I'm very proud to be a part of it. Well, with the show potentially being continuing on in another season, how did you break down the book to, for each, each season? The book provides us uh, with a lot of season one, but you have characters, you have a dilemma, you have a struggle that really can live on. Um, and so th there, there are single sentences in the book that provide us with an entire episode in season one. So we really feel that there's a lot more to explore. Um, well, the first three episodes seem to be more bloody than player and more intense than what the book describes. Is there a reason why you guys decided, I mean, you know what, we're going to go full out? Well, I, I think you have to. Um, there are different mediums. Um, and as Margaret Atwood has said, um, uh, writing a novel and the presentation of those voices and that dramatic action in a novel is far different from the visual medium of television. And uh, it's a powerful, scary world that Margaret created that we adapted. And so we need to feel that. We need to feel that with strong dramatic incident. Um, and you do. Well, the film and um, the film, well, the series was filmed before the election and even during the election. Was there a change after the election results happened? We didn't change anything in, in terms of our content. I, th I think we've always felt a big responsibility to do justice to Margaret's work. Um, when we woke up in November and we were in production, I think we felt even more of a burden, like we better not screw this up. Uh, I don't think we did. Well, how do you hope the audience will feel when they first re when they watch this series? There's a line uh, deep in the series, uh, I'd say in episode six or seven, where. Lizzie Moss screams out, do something. And I, I think that's what we want the audiences to, that's the way we want them to react. Um, this is entertainment. As I said, it's a thriller, but I think we also have a message there of if Offred can endure this dystopia, if she can make it through this, hey, you know what, so can you. Um, and stand up and be counted. And I think that's a good message for today. Well, because it's already have the, the buzz and everything going on, do you have an idea of what how you want to plan season two or season, like, maybe so, so on? Do you have a plan? The writer's room started yesterday, um, and so that's only just begun. Um, but um, we'll leave the audience at the end of the 10 hours. Um, I think without a doubt, they're going to want more. Thank you so much.